Even though the Kingston Line ran through Strawberry Hill in 1863, there was no station here until 1873. The level crossing barriers south of the station replaced Swing Gates in 1973. Along the route to this station, the service has been advertised to terminate here, but in actual fact the service terminates at Waterloo. This is to avoid confusion, especially at Waterloo. Imagine the confusion at the terminal, with the service advertised to Waterloo. The blinds now set to Waterloo via Richmond, Route 21. Strawberry Hill Town was once featured in the TV show Restoration, which focused on the 18th century mansion, once home to Walpole in 1747. We now fly over the Reading Main Line as we shortly come in to Twickenham. Twickenham Station opened in 1848 by the London and Windsor Railway, and in 1954 it was relocated around 230 metres from the original location. The station can get busy when rugby matches are on. The nearby stadium is the largest in the UK and is home to the Rugby Football Union and the England rugby team. Electricity was introduced here in 1902 and the first tram system arrived in 1903. Also located in Twickenham is the headquarters of the London Borough, Richmond upon Thames, at York House.
St Margaret's Station, not to be confused with the other station of the same name in Hertfordshire. It is located in Travercar Zone 4 and is served by both Kingston and Hounslow Loop services. The first station here in Richmond was opened by the Richmond and West End Railway on 27th July 1846 as a terminus from Clapham Junction. The Windsor, Staines and South Western Railway opened a line westwards and opened a replacement through station in 1848. The London and South Western Railway opened a line from Addison Road, now Kensington Olympia, in 1869. For a short period in 1870, the Great Western Railway operated the service from Paddington via Grove Road and Turnham Green and was restarted in 1894. Seven years later, the Metropolitan District Railway, now the London Underground District Line, ran services over the London and South Western tracks to Richmond, sharing the same tracks to Gunnersbury in between North London Railway services, and still to the day with the District Line services sharing tracks with the London Overground trains to Stratford. This line was electrified in 1905. The Great Western Railway then ended its services for good in 1910 and later in 1916 Addison Road services came to an end. In 1937 the Southern Railway rebuilt the station to its current formation today. Like Wimbledon there was a direct interchange between underground and mainline services at ground level.